Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I'm just gonna do a six month review on my M3 uh, and go over uh, the reliability of it and my experience so far. Um, so I'm gonna try and make this as short as possible. But uh, it's a 2015 M3 in Yas Marina Blue. Secure orange interior. Uh, I'll start with the interior first. Uh, so I have a dog that I bring in my car weekly, take her to all my car shows I go to, car meets, cars and coffees, all of it. Um, and besides just having dirt paws back there, um, the leather has been very uh, durable. Uh, there's been no scratches, no marks, nothing that uh, some Brio leather cleaner can't clean up. Um, so interior, the leather is held up pretty nicely. Uh, obviously the seat bolstering is a, war a little worn down, slightly not like crazy or anything where you know I've got to repair the leather. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I drive. This is the older version. I think there's a new version. The newer version looks a little different, but uh, it's still smooth, still real nice and smooth. Um, I have the heads-up display, the driver's package. Uh, let's see. I have the executive package with the like the rear um, rear window curtains, and then even the curtain in the back. Um, Let's see, I think that's it for the interior. Uh, steering wheel's nice. Uh, the leather kind of got, you know, um, a little slick, but um, I mean, it's, it's broken in, you know. The car's in 2015, so two years old, three years old, basically. Um, other than that, the interior's been fine. So, uh, let's see, let's go to the outside. I have the hood open, uh, check engine light is on, and that's because I have some catless downpipes which I still don't have a tune for. Uh, hopefully getting that tune pretty soon here. So, uh, Yas Marina Blue, gorgeous. This paint is fucking magnificent. Uh, not a single mark on it. Uh, let's see, you got the engine intake right there. DRSF charge pipes. And uh, JHP, carbon, uh, JHP Dynamics carbon fiber lip. Uh, it's running 15 mil spacers in the front, 18 mil in the rear. Fitment's as good as it can get before I start destroying the fenders. Um, I'm running Catalyst downpipes. I already think I already said that. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for the engine and the exterior of the car. Um, so reliability, the only issue I've had in the 15,000 miles I've driven on it. Yeah, 15,000 in six months. That's a shitload. Yeah, I know. So uh, I'm trying to tone it down. Uh, but in the 15,000 miles I've owned it, the only thing that's broken on me so far is the charge pipes. I'm not running uh, extra boost. You know, I'm, I'm still on stock boost, which is pretty crazy because all I hear is, you know, those charge pipes should hold up with stock boost. You only need it if you go with the JV4 or, or even... Um, you know, something more aggressive um, but other than that that's the only thing that's broken on me and uh, I was running broken charge pipes honestly for like three months I had no idea that they were broken um, and when I got the new aluminum charge pipes put on by VRSF the uh, power that you know I should have been having was incredible it was, it was insane the car was pulling real hard and uh, you know Four, honestly four months into it I was considering selling it because for the price that I was paying for this car or I had paid for this car you know I was out there getting beat by Mustangs and I even got beat, beat by a uh, tuned Hyundai Genesis and I was like thinking to myself like what the fuck you know this guy has like a car that's a quarter of the price and he's whooping my ass like what the hell is wrong um, yeah, and sure enough, it was those cracked charge pipes uh, causing a big boost leak. So the charge pipes were over uh, cracked over a foot long. Um, so yeah, I was basically making no boost. Uh, so yeah, as soon as I got that uh, charge pipe fixed, uh, honestly, there was nothing other than you know some exotic car or a tuned car, uh, tuned exotic car that could beat me on the streets. Um, so I've already spanked a couple. Uh, scat packs and some 5.0s and uh, some uh, Camaro SS's um, 
uh, yeah, hopefully getting it tuned next month. I'm thinking early February. Just gonna go with the JB4. They've dropped in price since uh, the new uh, ability to tune, to flash tune through OBD2. Uh, if you follow any type of uh, uh, forums or anything like that, you'll know that that was big news probably like a month ago. Um, that you know companies like VF Engineering and RK Tunes are able to just tune through the RB, uh, OBD2 without taking the ECU out now, which is a lot more convenient. Which dropped the price of the JV4 on the used market because everyone's trying to get their OBD2 uh, tuning now. Um, so can find one second hand for about $500 to $600 now, which is a pretty good deal considering how much more power and performance you're getting out of the car. So I'm going to step back a little bit and give you guys some wider shots of the car itself. Um, if you have any questions on the car itself, just go ahead and leave a comment uh, below. Uh, I will reply to every single comment. I'm a really small channel looking to grow. So um, if you'd like to subscribe, I got uh, plenty of con content coming up in the near future. Uh, I'm looking to overhaul the way I produce my content because I felt like my old content was uh, honestly not that great, uh, pretty low quality. Uh, and uh, this new year, I'm trying to up the quality of it and uh, make this a better channel that uh, I'd enjoy watching myself. Um, so uh, that's going to be it guys for now. Uh, overall, I love my F80 M3 now. Um, I'm in love every day, puts a smile on my face, uh, just like the E92 M3 did for me back in the day, which is good because I was considering selling this to go back to the E92. Um, but yeah guys, this car, I can't say enough how much fun it is uh, and I'm glad I got the four door. Uh, with the practicality of having, you know, uh, grown people in the car with me whenever they want to come ride an M3 uh, is pretty badass, I gotta say. Um, uh, and that's about it, guys. So, if you have any questions on anything on the car, parts that I have, um, let me know. Uh, I personally know who makes this carbon fiber front lip. So, uh, if you guys are looking for a good deal, uh, I can point you in the right direction. Honestly, you can't beat his prices. Uh, they're untouchable. Uh, you're looking at spending like a grand on something like that. And uh, his prices are anywhere between $200 to $300. So, um, yeah, guys, uh, that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, do whatever you want. Uh, but uh, I got some good content coming out in the near future. All right. Thank you.